Hey guys, Midwest Fishing Bros. I'm here with up, boat update number four. Um, I'm in my garage, it's about 521, and it's already dark out. That's the worst part about this year, is it gets super dark really early. But the good thing is, um, it is 59 degrees, and it is what, November, what day? November 6th, and it's 60 degrees out at 5.30 at night. So that's pretty awesome, but I'm going to get the bunks, try to get the bunks put on. Um, the winch has not came in the mail yet, and uh, so I'm gonna see what I can do tonight, um, and hopefully uh, there's some progress. All right, so I was doing a little research on bunk boards and trying to figure out how to make them. I figured I'd have to buy the boards um, the carpet, the marine grade carpet, um, the staple gun, the staples, and I actually found a website that had pre-made bunk boards um, for uh, actually pretty good price. I got a pair of six foot bunks. Uh, actually, these are the guidons, and these were like thirty some dollars. And then we came. Uh, I got another pair, and these are five foot. And these will go on the bunk with the boat. Uh, this will be on the bottom of the boat. So I figured I saved myself um, not only in materials, but in time. So I, that's why I went ahead and got the, these and ordered them online. So I'm going to try to install them. I have to drill holes through them and put them onto the trailer. So we're going to see how well, um, how well these work. Alright guys, I just got one guide on on and I'm actually really impressed. It looks really good. Um, so what I did was I drilled the hole and then I had to countersink uh, the bolt so when the boat actually comes up onto the trailer, when it actually comes up onto the trailer, um, it doesn't scratch, doesn't catch on that bolt. So everything is really nice and flush and uh, looking really good. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the second one, and uh, I'll show you when I'm done. Alright guys, I got both of the guidons on. It looks really good. Actually looks amazing. Um, tomorrow, I will be doing the actual bunks itself. They will sit in here. Um, this will be touching the bottom of the boat. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said before, the way I did this was just drilled a hole through there and then I countersunk uh, the bolt and it came out this side and uh, attached it on there. So it's actually really coming together. Tomorrow the boat actually might be back onto the trailer. It depends on if I have, um, if the winch gets here or not. Um, so yeah, and I also got a new one of these so hopefully tomorrow the boat is back on the trailer and I can officially say that uh, the trailer is complete so oh another thing one other thing I did I put on these um, reflectors they're not they're not LED they don't have wires running to them they're just uh, reflectors so light will reflect off these I have one here and I also have one on the other side so I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, got a couple packages in. I'm pretty sure this is the jack and this is the winch. So I'm going to go ahead and open them up to make sure that's what it is. So here is the jack. It has, it's a thousand pound capacity, I believe, um, with a 10 inch travel. And here is the winch, a 1500 pound capacity. Um, and I'll put those on later tonight. But first, I'm going to get to the bunks. These are going right over here into these slots. So I'm going to work on that first and get that out of the way. Um, and then hopefully I can put on the boat tonight. All right, guys. So this is what it's ultimately going to look like. Um, but I think I'm going to leave the bunks off for now and put on the winch. And I'm going to try to get the boat back onto the trailer. And then I'm going to jack the boat up and then bolt the bunks on because if you look at it when the boat comes in this way and I start winching up the boat 
it's going to put a lot of pressure on these and probably push them out to the side. Um, I just think it's going to be a lot easier and I don't run the risk of breaking the bunk. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put on the um, winch and then I'm going to put the, try to put the boat back onto the trailer. Alright guys, so I got the jack on. Looks really nice. I also got the winch on. And I actually got the boat back on the trailer. Um, it's getting late, so I am going to call it night. And tomorrow, I'm going to take this off right here. And I'm going to try to mount it onto this jack. And I'm going to put it underneath the boat. And if I come around here, I am going to jack up the boat. And then put on the bunks and put them right in here. Um, I just thought it was going to be way easier to do that than uh, risking breaking the bunks. So I'm going to attempt that. If it doesn't work, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm pretty confident that it should work. Um, so yeah, that's what I got done tonight. Another day working on the trailer. And hopefully tomorrow it is officially complete. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hi right, guys, back in the garage. I'm determined to get this trailer complete. All I need is these bunks on and I can't get it inside the bracket because um, the boat is sitting right, is sitting too low. So I am attempting to jack up the boat. I'm not sure if this is the safest way to do it. But I am going to do it and get it done, and I should have it done within about 30 minutes. Alright guys, I can officially say the trailer is complete. Um, it actually took a little bit longer than I thought to put on those bunks because I accidentally drilled um, one of the holes wrong in the bunk. But this is the overall look of the trailer. Looks pretty nice. Um, I got the guidons on here, uh, the bunks down here, and the boat is touching the guidon or the bunks perfectly. Um, I have just a little bit of a gap. Um, I probably should have went with um, the six foot bunks, but then I think they would have been sticking out too much. Um, I'm not going to have a huge motor on here, so I really don't think it's going to be an issue. So, again, we have the guidons here, the bunks, looks really nice. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, trailer is complete, now we get to move on to the actual boat. And it's going to be a big project. Um, you guys have probably already know what we're kind of looking to do with the boat. We're going to try to make this this front deck right here, from here all the way up. So a pretty decent size front deck for a boat this size. Um, we might build um, a little console right here with the steering wheel. Um, then put a little um, bench seat right along here for two, two passengers, or one driver and a passenger. And then from here on back, a little back deck. Um, it won't be super big, but uh, it might be, I mean, plenty enough room to stand. So that's what we're thinking. So happy the trailer is done. I will talk to you guys in the next episode.